Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video we're going to talk about followers in Oblivion and whether or not you should actually worry about what they're doing or where they are for that matter. Now, followers are the people that you have a quest for and they follow you around and you can tell them to follow me or wait here and usually you have to escort them back somewhere or you're the master of the mages guild or the champion of the fighters guild and people will just follow you. Now there are spells you can learn that directly affect followers like you can cast a shield spell on them or restore their health or something like that. Okay, you can feather them if they decide to pick up a weapon or something. I don't know, anything. But do you really need to buy those spells and worry about them? This is a question I find myself... I used to ask a lot, and then I realized, no, you don't need to worry about your followers. If they die, they die. They're practically useless anyways. So a follower, one of the things that a follower does is attack stuff, right? Now, whether it's an apprentice mage or Martin, they will attack stuff. They can follow you into caves, and you go on adventures with them. But really the purpose they serve like they, they die instantly basically they die really really fast especially higher levels because most of the followers in this game their actual equipment and gear doesn't scale so the apprentice mages still have the apprentice mage robes at level 40 just like they do at level one very simple that's something that happens now also followers why not just conjure something up on the topic of followers, why not just conjure something up? Because it's not a liability at that point. Because the followers, some of the followers are one-time followers. If they die, they die. You can't do anything about it, right? And then you have this dead follower that you can never, ever use again if you continue playing. All right, and you especially don't want the adoring fan to die. He's an important character in literally everything. But now, follower spells, that's a different thing. Because the, the spells of, like shield other or restore other health those can be really good for your conjured up stuff right so if you conjure up like a tanky character and you want to make that atronach or whatever or diedrich to anything really more tanky you cast a shield spell on it and boom it's more tanky and yeah it's conjured up and it's going to disappear but it's magic like you went you used magic you didn't use something that you're never ever going to get back like a piece of equipment or anything like that now i have noticed that you can pickpocket followers and put stuff in their inventory. I don't get why Oblivion does this. I don't get why you just can't give them things. I have seen Martin before. One time I was in a cave and Martin's iron dagger or whatever, steel dagger, I don't even know what dagger he has, broke. And he all of a sudden picked up like a dwarven battle axe or something like that. So, I mean, if you can degrade their weapon have them pick up a weapon i guess that's useful but really that, the way i see it is followers are about as use as useful as conjured up stuff except they're they're actually going to die and you're going to be able to loot them instead of them disappearing so really just conjure stuff up if you want followers followers aren't worth it at all they're useless in this game at least in skyrim they can hold stuff for you so that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.